It is 4.13 on KPFT Local News at 4. I'm Luke Jones. Well, if the Senate's immigration reform bill is to stand any chance of passing the House, it will need the support of the House's Republican majority. Now, a Houston congressman is saying there's no way Republicans will pass this bill as it stands. Earlier today, I spoke to Republican Congressman John Culberson. Congressman, we know you've had a busy week of voting on the Hill, so first of all, we'd like to thank you for taking the time out to talk to us. Of course. Now, I know you've been a big critic of the Senate's immigration reform bill. What's your main issue with it? Well, first of all, the Senate bill is a publicity stunt that the uh, Senator Reid knows is uh, unconstitutional and illegal, so he hasn't even delivered it to the House of Representatives. So, Luke, your listeners should first of all understand that the Senate, the Senate bill is literally a publicity stunt. It's invalid on its face and can't even be enacted into law. Secondly, I strenuously oppose the idea of amnesty or citizenship for people who consciously broke our laws. All that's necessary is to enforce the law on the border that already exists. You enforce the law with common sense and a kind heart And secondly, Luke, it's important that once the border is genuinely secured with existing law, you've got to have marshals, you've got to have judges, you've got to have prosecutors, you've got to have additional bed space. It's not just Border Patrol agents. Then you've got to move into fixing the visa system because 50% of those who are here illegally overstayed their visas. And you've got to find them and deport them. And then third... House Republicans want to apply a common sense, uh, create a common sense guest worker program based on the Bracero program of the 1950s so that once the border is secure, the visa system is working, that you've got a system in place for people who want to work, who live in Mexico, and the border is secure, and people can cross freely if they've got work permits. We know who you are, where you're going to work, for how long, and you're going home. You obviously can't bring your whole family with you. Don't expect to get on government welfare or, or you know, get on uh, any of the social safety net programs that are already bankrupt. But if you're here to work and uh, you want to go home and back and forth across the border freely, you know, God bless you. That's fine. Just obey the law, uh, do the right thing, uh, work hard and keep your head down and be a constructive member of society. But understand you're only here to work and you're not on a path to citizenship. And then finally, and fourth, you need to make sure that employers have a safe harbor, that they're given a chance to check the individual's name against a database at the federal level. Are they here legally? Are they a citizen? And once the employer has done their due diligence and confirmed that the person is here on a work permit, or they're here legally, or they are a citizen, that the employer is then protected against fines or penalties or further persecution by the government. It's that simple. That's where the vast majority of House Republicans are. There's zero chance we're granting citizenship to uh, people who have entered the country illegally when it's not necessary, it's illogical, it's unlawful, it's contrary to our entire history as a nation. Well, you know, I have to ask you, what do you make of a former President George Bush getting involved in this debate? Because a lot of people have said it kind of sounds like he's coming down on the side of amnesty. Well, I think House Republicans are going to stay true to, uh, I just laid out the four core principles that you can expect House Republicans to follow. And I also take it by that you don't think the border security measures in the Senate bill are going to be effective. The Senate bill is unconstitutional and can't even be considered by the House. I mean, it's legally impossible. The Senate, they haven't even sent it. Uh, Luke, it's, it's something that's really not known to the public at large, but Harry Reid has not even transmitted the Senate bill to the House for consideration because he knows it's a publicity stunt and is unconstitutional and illegal on its face, and it would be killed immediately on a constitutional point of order by the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, Dave Camp, the instant that it arrives in the House. The Senate bill is a publicity stunt. All right, well, the final word is yours if you have anything else you'd like to say. I just think we in Texans have a special role in this debate because we, more than any other state in the Union, have a good understanding of the importance of a strong relationship with our neighbors to the South. 
we, more than any other state in the Union, know how important the rule of law and order is to understand that safe streets mean good schools and a strong economy. And we know that's essential in Texas, that if we obey the rule of law and just enforce the laws we've got, you will make the community safer, stronger, happier, and more prosperous, but under no circumstances will House Republicans grant citizenship to people who have broken our laws illegally. It's unnecessary, it's illogical, it's unlawful, and it's a violation, really, of the trust that those who waited in line patiently and obeyed the law and have done the right thing, they should be honored and respected because they did it the right way, and we should not disrespect them or dishonor them by giving citizenship to people who deliberately and knowingly broke the law. Congress, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it, Luke. Thank you very much.